Morning guys. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's good to be back out. We've just come out of a second UK lockdown. So it's been about four weeks since we filmed anything. Um, but we're back out. We're here in Derbyshire. We're in the Peak District. Yeah, we're about to head up to Cromford Canal. There's a nice little walk which runs from there and you can make your way up to Black Rock. So we're going to check that out. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a hell of a lot of stuff going around. There's stuff that you can't do at the moment. So we're going to check out some things that you can do. So around Cromford you'll notice that it's littered with a lot of mills and this is actually the birthplace of where the industrial revolution happened. Uh, so this is where like mass produced textiles came into place and um, nowadays the mills are used for all sorts of things and we're going to Cromford Mill to have a little look around because they've got a bit of a Christmas market on. finished scuffing your face yet so we found uh, there's a few stalls kicking around uh, Cromford Mills and they're selling like festive treats so we picked up a bit of a chocolate waffle uh, which this mm. one's having and we've got what we got uh, orange and cranberry it's mulled mold. orange and cranberry I think and it's very nice it tastes like Christmas um, this time last year we actually went to Bruges for the Christmas market so that's why it a Belgian washer. Yeah. <laughs> Waffle. A Belgian washer. Um, it's nice to be back at Christmas market. Didn't expect that we'd see this down here. No. So um, we're getting some nice hot drinks in us before we go off on our walk. That was a really nice little market. Um, yeah. Got loads of like uh, Christmas things you can buy, full on Christmas trees there, and they even had like a little owl uh, stall where I think they're like rescue owls, which is quite cool. Yeah, and uh, there's stuff on like all times of the year, uh, but if you wanted to get a full experience of, uh, you know, a working textile mill, Master Mill actually have a um, museum which shows you how the machines work. So that's just up in Matlock Bath and that's part of the Richard Arkwright Mill complex. Yes, that's just up the road. That's another option. Uh, and now we're going to head across the road from here uh, onto Cromford Canal. Bonus tip, we've actually just walked past the village where Haley comes from. It's uh, full of tiny little wooden houses. Yeah. You're going to show us your ass.
Right, so we're just taking a walk uh, along the Cromford Canal towpath and this used to be a working canal that they used to use to transport coal and limestone. I think it was sort of back in the 17, 1800s time. And now it's just a, a nice walking path that you can take uh, from Cromford Canal up to the High Peak Junction. Sorry, they do have a, a horse drawn uh, canal boat which you can take. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot so about yeah. that. And I think that's, that, I don't think that's running in the winter because we're filming this in December. It's probably more of a summer thing and maybe they don't have it for Covid, but um, yeah, another option for you. So this walk is about a mile long, uh, so it only takes about 20 minutes and as you make your way down to the other end you get to somewhere called High Peak Junction and that's where we're going to now. Oh and we just saw a dinosaur. So they have a little shop at High Peak Junction and a tourist information centre which is all kind of combined into one. So it's perfect for those really cold winter days. You can get a nice warm drink to warm you up. Right, so we've come round uh, the side from uh, the High Peak Junction now and we're heading up uh, a massive hill up towards Black Rocks. A bit of a steep incline. It is a little bit steep. One of the cool things about this walk is that it's full of history. You're learning new things around each corner. Yeah, we've just gone past uh, what's known as the catch pit. And uh, it was designed to stop runaway uh, carts from going down the hill. And I think it said the sign what was it, 120 mile an hour? Yeah, they went at 120, 120 mile an hour they can go down and there was a spectacular accident in uh, 1888 where one carrying gunpowder got loose and uh, exploded at the bottom uh, and you can still see remnants of an old one in the bottom today. So if you cut in about halfway up the railway slope, uh, you can take a path which will cut in and take you directly to Black Rocks. And that's what we're doing now. So Black Rocks is actually quite popular with walkers uh, but there are other things that you can do here such as mountain biking and there are even uh, climbers that come here to you know enjoy themselves and um, there's lots of routes that run through here including the High Peak Trail. You 
So the areas in and around Black Rocks are really varied, uh, which makes for an interesting walk. Uh, there's lots of evergreen forests, there's birch forests, and now we've come up to a place called Cromford Moor, uh, which is different again. It's like a lot more open. And the sun's just set in, and it looks really nice. It's a really relaxing walk, or it is for most. I'm out of breath. So we came to this exact spot 24 hours ago and it looked hell of a lot different. It looked like this. Right, so we've come up to the top of the moor and now we're going to dip back down into Black Rocks and I'm going to go take you all to the rocks themselves because there's a hell of a view. Uh, but first we've got to get past this sketchy bit, there's some boulder hopping. Not appropriate footwear. Right, so we found the rock face itself. Uh, it's a um, it's a grit stone, I think. And it's very popular with climbers. There's a lot of uh, climbing routes on it. It's basically Pride Rock of the UK. Guys, that's the end of the video. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this little look around Cromford and Black Rocks. We're just trying to get out uh, and do what we can, uh, what we can safely whilst we're still in quite a high tier. Yeah, staying active is the main key. Yeah, there's plenty to see and do in and around Derbyshire, so get out here if you can. Uh, don't forget to give us a big like on this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and share our video please yeah share Don't it with someone us. online uh, that might enjoy this kind of thing uh, otherwise we will catch you guys in the next one peace there's a lot of bloody noise i think we've come into a bit of bother uh -oh. lots of mud What are you doing? Getting all my kit out, mate. Do you want to hold this or what? Mm. Trying to get his drone out, trying to be all professional. Well, I still can, before I need a licence. Yeah, so, yeah, I am now, yeah. Getting fat. <laughs>